Hi guys, here is our math problem for today. We are given here a Diophantine equation. What is the number of positive integer solutions x, y, z for the system of simultaneous equations below? We have x, y plus y, z equals 6 to 3 and x, z plus y, z equals 23. You can pause the video and see if you can solve this math olympiad question. Let's solve this problem together. Let's begin simplifying the first equation. Notice that we have here a common factor y, so let's factor out the variable y to arrive at this form. Let's go back to this form later on because there is nothing much that we can do with it. Let's go to the second equation. There is a common factor z, so let's factor out z to arrive at z times the quantity x plus y equals 23. Now notice that 23 is a prime number. Its factors are 1 and 23. It's either we write it as 1 times 23 or 23 times 1 by commutative property of multiplication. This means that since z and the quantity x plus y are factors of 23, then it's either z is equal to 1 and the quantity x plus y is equal to 23 or it is the variable z that is 23 and the quantity x plus y is equal to 1. But notice that we are looking for the positive integer solutions. That means the second case is not possible because the lowest positive integer is 1. If x is 1, y cannot be 0 because 0 is neither positive nor negative, and therefore, there is no two positive integers so that the sum is equal to 1, and therefore, we eliminate the second option. So we now know that the value of the variable z is equal to 1, so let's substitute that here. So we now have this z equals 1. But this variable x can be re-expressed in terms of this result here. We know that x plus y equals 23, that means x is 23 minus y. Replacing now this x by 23 minus y, we have this form, and 23 plus 1 is 24. Then distribute y to this binomial, we have here a quadratic equation. Let's rewrite this in the standard quadratic form, and we know how to solve this quadratic equation. We can split this minus 24y into minus 21y minus 3y, so that we can factor by grouping. And here is a common factor of y minus 21 that we factor out again. And since the product of these two factors is zero, each one of them is equated to zero. And finally, we have y equals 21 and y equals 3. And then let's go back to our equation for the value of x. x is equal to 23 minus y. And knowing that y is equal to 21, then x is 23 minus 21 or x equals 2. And knowing that y equals 3, then we have x equals 23 minus 3 which is this value of y, so x is equal to 20. So we now have these results. y equals 21, y equals 3, x equals 2, x equals 20. And for the solutions now of this Diophantine equations, we have x, y, z equals 2 for x, 21 for y, and 1 for z, or x, y, z equals 20 for x, 3 for y, and 1 for z. And so we have two solutions for these Diophantine equations. So the answer is there are two solutions. Thank you very much and we hope to see you again in our next video. Bye for now.